Good morning, grade fours. I hope you're all doing well. Um, I hope you are safe and warm on this very, very cold week. Um, and I hope you're all doing well. I really, really miss you. Can't wait to see you again. As you can see, we are in a classroom because the teachers are back, as you all know. And yeah, we're just getting the school ready, up and running for you guys when you come back. So today, I just want to go over a few Afrikaans um, things again so that you know what to do. Um, and for this week, you're going to do a little bit of a creative thing in Afrikaans and you're going to draw and you're going to label things and it's going to be cool. So I just want you to pay attention as I explain a few things that you know exactly what to do. So let me just get my phone. Okay, <clears throat> so on page 84, we are going to look at a fridge. So most of us enjoy going to our fridge because we get some yummy stuff there. Um, so in Afrikaans, we call a fridge a ice cups. So ice means ice and cups means a cupboard or a, a closet or a closed container. Okay. So ice cups just means an ice closet. Okay. So that's basically what it is. So I want you now to think of your own fridge at home. What type of food do you get in there? What type of liquids do you put in there? And you know, what generally do you take out of the fridge every day? So think about it and maybe see if this fridge isn't maybe like your fridge. So you have your nice um, meats on the bottom cupboard or if it is a pot freezer, pot um, fridge, uh, you will put your meats in the freezer so they can last longer and all the other things that doesn't need freezing can just remain in the fridge. So, um, I want you to especially look at where they put the liquids and where they put the food and where they put the fruits and veg, where they put the dairy products and the other type of canned or closed container food. Okay. So, yeah, I just want you to see if this is maybe not resembling your own fridge at home. Um, and say, if you need ice cups, you need to ice cups as by the high scene. Okay, so if you look at this fridge, what in you need ice cups, so you want to eat or drink. What's in this fridge will you really want to eat or drink? So if I were you, I would immediately go to that cake over there because I love sweets and anything that is sweet. <laughs> Okay, so now it brings us to some of the questions here where they ask us and they say we have to do this in groups but unfortunately we can't do it. So you're going to do it um, in your workbooks. What is in a cool place so in the ice cups gebed wordt? So what type of food needs to be put in a cool place um, like a fridge? So what type of food needs to be stored in a fridge? Okay, so think of food that will get spoiled very, very easily or quickly. And those type of food we need to put in the fridge. So have a look here. This lady has uh, different types of food on the table and you need to tell us what type of food needs to go and be stored in the fridge. Okay, so what are course with gebed word in the ice cups? Okay. So, first example that I will give you is milk. Milk is cold and will get spoiled easily if you do not store it in a cool place. Okay, the rest I will leave up to you. Vraag 2. Wat is soort koos hoef nie in die ijskas gebare te word nie? So, what type of food doesn't need to be stored in the fridge? And those foods are the ones that can be stored for up to a week or two or more um, in a cupboard or um, anywhere else. One example I can tell you is maybe cookies or bread even. Okay, so tell, so you can tell me what the rest um, are or is that doesn't need to be stored in a fridge. Okay, vraag 3. Wat is die voordele advantages van een ijskas? What are the advantages of a fridge? Okay, now in my discussion, you might have picked up some good things or advantages that a fridge offers us, okay? 
So think about it and then skryf jy dit neer. Then you write it down. Okay, and at the bottom, hier die ijskaas werk met elektriciteit. Electricity. Wat er ander dinge kry mens in die kombuis wat met elektriciteit werk. Wat is die kombuis nou weer? That is a kitchen. Okay, so they are saying, hier die ijskaas, this fridge, werk met elektriciteit. It works with electricity. Now think of other things in your kitchen that works with electricity. Okay, so things that you have to um, put on a switch for and it can't just work by itself. It, it needs electricity to work. Okay, um, so list the things there and then last the vraag, wat do the mens as jy nie a ijskas het nie? What do you do if you don't have a fridge? What do you do with your food then? How do you make it cool or store it in some, some place cool so it doesn't get rotten or spoiled? Okay, so think about that one. Okay, the last thing that you're going to do this week is you're going to get now very creative and you're going to get out your drawing pencils because you're going to draw your own fridge. Okay, so you can use this picture on this page, on page 86. And now they say, Teken jou eie oop ijskas. Oop means open. So, it doesn't help if the fridge is closed because then we can't see anything. So, it needs to be open. Okay. Teken die kos in die ijskas. Luister na die instructies en skryf die name van die kos neer. Okay. So, instructie nummer 1, instruction number 1. Teken op die boonste rak melk, kos en eiers. Milk, cheese en eggs. So, boonste. What does that mean? Boonste rak. That means the top shelf. Okay, boonste rak means top shelf. So, those items you need to draw on the top shelf. And you need to label it as well. So, they actually did the first one for you to show you what it needs to look like. Okay, so, die kaas en die eiers moet jy nou ook doorteken met die name onderaan, with the names at the bottom. Teken op die tweede rak. So, tweede rak means the second shelf, or the middle shelf. Op die um, tweede rak teken sap, yoghurt en butter. Juice, yogurt and butter. Ok, so you teken het ook daar so, en jy moet die name onderaan skryf. You need to write the names at the bottom as well, just like that. Ok, instructie nummer 3. Instructie nummer 3, teken op die onderste rak tomaties, appels en kool. Ok, tomatoes, apples and cabbage. Right. So, in die onderste rak, um, jy kan het ook hier so teken. There's two drawers at the bottom there, you can do it there as well. Um, you can even draw it in such a way that they're sticking out and then you can write the labels um, on top of them. Okay, so then your whole fridge is filled with food and then it will look pretty much like this. So the milk, cheese and eggs are at the top, the yogurts and other dairy products are in the middle shelf and then your fruits and veg are at the bottom. Okay, and then I want you to take a photo of your fridge and I want you really to be creative with this because we want to see your end result. Um, and when you're done, you can send a picture um, and you can ask mom or dad to help you with this and they can take a picture of it and send onto the parent WhatsApp group so that we can just have a look-see on what your fridge looks like. Okay, so. I hope you understand what to do. Um, so this week we'll be looking at a fridge, an ice gas, and what alles binnen a ice gas is. So I hope this helped you, Grade Fours, and I really miss you. And yeah, stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Thank you, Grade Fours.